Hey guys, it's Kim Bowen. I am really excited about this new series that we're going to be doing, the one question session. We sent an email out just this morning asking for you to send in your questions and wow, lots are coming in. It's exciting and I uh, can't wait to dive in. Just to give you a quick update, I am on an RV trip. There may be more that I'm going to record about that in the future, but you're gonna to have to excuse the background and the camping hair and everything that's going on. Let's get to it. Let me pull up today's question. And today's question is, I cheated on my wife and she isn't sure she wants to stay married. How can I rebuild her trust and save my marriage? That's a really good question. And so what I want to say to you about that is it's really important that right now you focus more on your wife's pain and trauma than it is your goal of saving the marriage. Because if you push too hard, she's going to feel the pressure and that's not going to help you in the long term. And so when people are wanting to save a marriage, if you've been the one who's had an affair, it's really tempting to want to minimize it, not talk about it, because you're afraid of keeping it up front and center for her. And you think if we avoid talking about it, I don't give her any details or any information, then maybe she'll forget about it and move on. That's not going to happen. Research says that when you have an affair, your partner has struggles with the whole betrayal and their world turned upside down and triggers that come up from that for three to five years. Now, that doesn't mean that you're going to be in the same place you are now for three to five years, but it does mean that it's going to require a whole lot of patience on your part. I definitely recommend that part of rebuilding and trust is getting good help while you're doing this. Your wife needs to have an outlet to talk about it you need to have an outlet and you need the guidance of somebody who's going to keep those conversations constructive and not let it get too volatile or too damaging for instance your wife's going to have lots of questions like timing when did it happen where did it happen you said you were going to be here but you were actually there what does that even mean they're going to feel like the whole life is based on a lie imagine you step outside of your house one day and everything's upside down her world has blown up and she's going to question if she, if anything was real. Did you ever really love her? When you said this, what were you really thinking? When you were there, were you really there? Or were you with somebody else? And she'll drive by places and see a sign or hear a song on the radio or see a, something that you own that she didn't buy you and wonder where it came from. And all of those things are going to be triggers that will potentially set her back. She's going to have lots of questions. It's important that you're available to answer those questions with patience and kindness and not this kind of short, do we really have to go there again? I've answered that already. I don't think it's good. Can't you just get over it? It's tempting to minimize it. And so I want you to avoid doing that at all costs. At the same time, there are some things that can be more triggering or damaging to discuss. For example, I've seen couples come in where they wanna know really personal, intimate, details about the act, about your partner's body, about how <clears throat> things, you know, transpired while you're having sex with someone. Those are not the kinds of details that you need to give. And I think being in therapy with her will also help mitigate that so that it doesn't go there. Let's switch again to rebuilding trust. Never lie again. Never make a promise you don't keep. If you tell her you're going to take the trash out on Friday morning before work, you make sure it happens. If you have to set five alerts on your phone to do that, if you have to hire the neighbor to come and pull it out for you because you forgot, it's those kinds of things that reestablish your integrity. And she needs to see that. She's questioning a lot of things right now. Are you a good person who did a bad thing or are you a bad guy? and she didn't see it. And so those are some of the things that she's going to be thinking about. <clears throat> so I guess to sum it all up, if you want to rebuild trust and save your marriage, get into therapy with somebody who's really good, who has worked with couples in this situation. Don't minimize her pain. Be available to talk. Don't get into the gory details that can be re-traumatizing. If she wants to go there, the best way to handle that, don't lie. Just say, I've been reading about this. I've been talking to somebody and 
I've been made aware that this can be more damaging. So I don't want to answer these things. And let's go into therapy and talk about it there. And keep your word at all costs. Don't break promises. Let her know you're a man of your word. The other thing that you can do to start rebuilding trust is let her know that you're in it, that you care about her and you want her to heal in this is for you to bring up the affair sometimes. Don't wait for her to be asking you all the time. And so what that looks like would be coming home one evening and saying, how are you doing today? How are you doing? Are, are you having flashbacks? Is there anything that I can do or say that would help you today? That will go a long way also. So thanks for putting in the question. I just want you to know that marriages can survive affairs and they do. And the fact that you're asking tells me you want to fight for your marriage. And I am a big cheerleader for those who want to make things right. So I wish you all the best of luck in that and send us an email and let us know how that's going. Keep sending in your questions. There's already a, a folder full of them right now. I'm just going to go through them and try to have some good information that will help a lot of you, but also try to have some fun. So till next time, we'll see you. If you want to submit a question, it is askkim at themarriageplace.com. And we will see you then. Bye.